Hi, this is LJ Boffel, and this is a Microsoft Excel video on pivot tables number three. And in this case, we're going to look at pivot tables and slicers. Slicers are a way that you can filter pivot tables with a bit more of a visual um, way of doing so instead of trying to just look at the standard filter button drop downs like you see in regular tables and in pivot tables. So basically I have already a pivot table I've created and I am basically have three different things prioritized here. I want to see the sales of something and what I want to do is see the sales by region of a certain category of categories of items. And I've set it so the categories are in columns, which is why they're moving across here. And the uh, uh, region is in um, the head of these various rows or records. And, you know, one can move things around and change how this looks. But what I'd like to do is, since this looks a little clunky the way it is, but I want to access all the data, I'd like to go ahead and use slicers. So to do that, you can use the insert. So we're going to click in the pivot table because the slicer tool will need to know what it's connecting to in order to give that to us. Then what we're going to do is in the, let's see, am I, in, it looks like I'm in the home tab, but that's not where I want to be. I want to be in the insert tab and I want to come over to filters. And this is special. You have slicer and timeline and we're just going to use a slicer click this and it will give me a chance to make a decision based on the way this table is currently set up on the ways I may want to go about filtering information before I make a chart. So routinely I want to see things either by region and then I want to see things by category. And these are the things that I'll be filtering in or out. I don't really, I mean, there are other things here, but there aren't any sales reps being shown in this particular table. Now, if I went in and I changed this pivot table by removing it from category to or region to sales rep, then I could use sales rep instead of region. In fact, why don't we just do that? I'm going to turn off category. I'm going to turn off region. I'm going to turn on sales rep turn on category, but I'm going to again move the category over to columns so we see it like this. But instead of seeing the regions per se, um, we're seeing now the sales reps. We're seeing the word regions up here because in, in an earlier video I typed over the row labels and I typed regions, but now I'll just type sales reps like that. Okay, so from here we click into this table, we go to the insert tab, come over to filters and choose slicers. And this way I could choose sales rep and category. And then I will get these two little mini panels that will let me do some filtering with a bit more of a visual way of doing it rather than just having to come over here and pick and choose from here. So I'm going to go ahead and close the pivot table fields, knowing that anytime I need to get into it, I can go into the pivot table, analyze, show, and get the field list again. But right now I don't need to see it. I can also narrow these up a little bit so they don't take quite as much room. As long as I can still see all the core information I want to in them. And this one I can even shorten up because I don't have quite that many things in here. Whereas this one, it's long enough that there is a uh, thing going on. Now I already accidentally clicked some things here to turn them off and the table looks really different. So this is what the table looked like before I, all right, let's make sure they're all selected. When everything is selected, you can see that they're all selected. This is what the table looked like. But what if I really want to see all of these categories only for Inaya and uh, Kishan and Rafe? I could pick those and see how the table adjusts for me. Now it's a, uh, yeah, and then the grand total, this is all actually supposed to be currency of some kind, and it really isn't showing up that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select everything so that I can make sure that all of the, the information in here is in at least a, a, a currency or a, a similar format. I'm not going to actually put the currency sign. We can see that down here, but at least it's in a similar format. And then I'm going to move cookery over this way. And then now from here, it makes it a little bit make more sense. So right now, for instance, um, say I wanted to see only 
Anaya, and I only wanted to see cookery. Well, she doesn't have any cookery. So notice here, when I cl click her name, these are grayed out. Even if I click them, there's nothing in them. She has nothing there. She only sold ingredients. If I come down to Nisha, she sold several things. So I could come in here and hold my shift key down and select all of these. See how that works. I could decide to add Rafe to this by clicking his name. And now his name shows up. And I could remove Nisha and add River. See? So that's what slicers could do for you. It's a real easy and a visually accommodating way for folks who like to see things with a bit more um, uh, of a graphic user interface, but it simply works the same way as using any one of these uh, drop-down uh, filter buttons at the top of the table. hope this was helpful.